One of my least favorite things that I could find out in the woods is a big pile of trash. It's the worst. It displays arrogance, ignorance, lack of awareness, all sorts of things, all, all kinds of bad things. So I really hope that uh, you can cultivate a practice of not doing this, of leaving no trace. One of my mentors and close friends, Spencer Boljack, has a saying that he has said about every time I've ever seen him teach a class about wilderness skills, and that is uh, tree hugging is tactical. <laughs> this is a fun little statement. And it's true, you know, there's a lot of overlap between caring for the earth and not leaving your crap everywhere and being smart and sneaky and not leaving much of a footprint that you were there. So the two worlds of like the tactical guys and the tree hugging hippies can come together in a really powerful way with that uh, awareness of that fact that tree hugging is tactical. But all that said, this pile of trash is disgusting. I don't like it, but I like to find the positive side of things. It's a good way to live. So today I'm going to share with you, assuming my lighter doesn't run out of fuel, um, some interesting uses you can make with this trash. And I'm specifically going to talk about plastic because it's one of the things that's the most, uh, it takes a long time to uh, biodegrade. The only thing longer in this area that would take longer than that would probably be the glass. Glass takes a really long time to biodegrade, but plastic is pretty bad. Plastic, because it's oil-based, is actually a good fire starter in a lot of cases. And so I just want to show you some examples of that real quick and uh, how you can use plastic in a pinch for a survival fire. Now again, this is an exception. This is not like a, a, a rule, like something you would just go out and plan on doing. Like, oh, I'm gonna skip taking my fire starter with me because I'm sure I'll find some plastic somewhere on the trail. Because again, it's not great for the atmosphere to burn plastic, so don't make it a habit. But I'm just gonna tear up a little bit to demonstrate how good it is. So this plastic is kind of like, like a wrapper. It's flexible plastic and so it's going to burn more quickly um, and, and not as long so it's not as useful but it's a good first thing to burn here's a plastic fork you know and I'm going to take my knife and actually shave it kind of like I would um, a piece of wood and this is an interesting kind of plastic it's not working as well so I'm just going to break the teeth off this fork and treat them like little twigs try one more time to sort of shave so this is just kind of snapping into little tiny bits so it's not working that great so we'll just leave it be here's my lighter it's just about out of fuel I'm gonna give this a little test so the the softer plastic that's flexible is gonna kind of melt into nothing but it'll kind of get you started and then if you can get one of these little harder pieces lit you'll have a viable fire starter almost like a match so you got to be kind of interactive with it let me zoom this camera in a little bit so you can see what all is going on here I've got it facing a strange direction so it's hard for me to film but maybe I can make this work so I'm lighting the bottom with one of those fork teeth and you can see kind of how it works so it's not the best fire starter out there something like birch bark or pine sap are gonna be a lot better but you can see it'll sustain a flame for long enough that you can do something with it it's not just going to burn away to nothing and that's the value of it so different types of plastic burn in different ways you'll find varying degrees of success with them but you can see that at least there is a use for this stuff you could definitely get a fire going with that if you had some tinder and some kindling made up at least the people had a little bit of natural fire starter here's some some really really uh rotting poplar bark a little too wet to use at this point, but 
for now, the plastic will work. So again, I've said this several times already, but don't make a habit of this. It's not the way to go, but it will get you by in a tight spot. Uh oh, I'm trying to grow my hair out so it's looking kind of weird. See, look at that beautiful scene. Wouldn't it be a lot nicer if there wasn't all this trash? But it's good to make the most of situations and learn how to see the positive. So I hope this video was helpful. Stay safe, stay wild, I'll see you around.